and I'm headed up to Mount Adams to see a play at Playhouse in the Park. So I'm going from downtown, I'm catching the one, and heading up there in about five minutes. So the journey shouldn't take too long. Uh, I should be there within plenty of time to have a cocktail before the show and read up on the play. in the park and so I'll turn around and the playhouse is just on the other side of these stairs so it's super easy to hop off and uh, get to where I needed to go. It really only took maybe about 10 minutes and to avoid the hassle of parking in Mount Adams is wonderful. To give you another perspective of where the bus dropped me off, uh, it got off right where those houses are in the street back there and I am literally steps from Playhouse in the Park, which is right behind me. And I didn't have to pay for this because I took the bus. So I just finished the play and I'm walking to my bus stop. Uh, surprise for this evening, the Route 1 does not run after the play lets out. So it's just a little after 10 o'clock right now and I have to walk from Playhouse in the Park down to the bottom of the hill, uh, actually to Gilbert Avenue to pick up the next closest bus, which is the Route 11 to take back to Government Square. It's a pretty long and dark walk from Playhouse in the Park down to where I need to catch this uh, bus number 11. And it's on a windy hill. I'm very surprised that there is not bus service here right now and I'm actually having to walk into a different neighborhood. The bus stop that I'm trying to reach right now to catch the 11 is not actually in Mount Adams. It is in Walnut Hills. So at this time of night leaving the Playhouse there is no bus service in Mount Adams around uh, 10 o'clock at night uh, which is kind of inconvenient, <laughs> uh, especially for having to make this long of a trek. I'm coming up on the bus stop. It's actually right there at that intersection I'm approaching. And I have walked for a little over half a mile from Playhouse in the park to catch the next closest bus, since there are no buses in operation um, right now. So the bus stop is right across the street, and it is near, um, Gilbert and the entrance to Eden Park. So I just need to cross over and those benches there where I'll pick up the bus. Yeah, I don't see the bus coming, so it looks like I've got a little time to spare, which is good. Uh, and there is the bus stop, the Route 11. It looks like the 4 goes here as well, but it said that the 11 will be the next one to come by and take me to Government Square. So I'm at the bus stop waiting for the 11 to come by. Um, I guess those guys are bus fans too. 
Uh, so I'm waiting for the 11 to come by. It's due in about 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm sitting here waiting on the bench. The bench needs a little TLC. It looks like it's seen better days. First impressions of catching this bus at this hour at night. Um, it's not something that I would make a habit of doing. I'm pretty confident in going out in urban areas at night, but there's not a lot of foot traffic in this area. There is uh, quite a bit of car traffic, if you can see over this way, just from people getting out of the play. But on a regular night, I wouldn't see this area that busy, and so it may not be the safest place if you're a young lady traveling alone. Where is the bus? All right, so the bus is running a bit late. Uh, when I first checked Google Maps, it said that it would be arriving a few minutes before the top of the hour. Uh, then when uh, I checked again, when it hadn't arrived, it said that it'd be arriving at eight past the hour, which is fine. That's not a big delay. Uh, now it's going on quarter past. No sign of the bus. I have seen two buses going in the opposite direction, both the 11 and the four. So hopefully one will be coming inbound soon and I can hop on that. The bus is here. It is coming right now down the street to pick me up. So I'm back from my bus adventure at Playhouse in the Park and I just wanted to give a recap about how my experience went what I liked, what I didn't like, uh, just first thoughts off the bat. Getting from downtown to Playhouse in the Park was super easy. Route 1 showed up exactly when it was supposed to, it was quick and efficient, and the bus driver was very nice. He knew all of the regulars. And I got dropped off just steps away from the front door of Playhouse in the Park. It was extremely convenient and I even had time to grab a glass of wine, read over the program, and watch cars circle for parking. I'm very glad that I was able to take the bus and avoid that headache. Coming back from Playhouse in the Park is a bit of a different story. Instead of picking up the bus at that convenient location where I was dropped off, I found out that that bus is no longer running. I had to walk into a different neighborhood to have bus service. And that's simply because a bus is not running between 9 30, 10 o'clock, which was when the play was let out uh, in Mount Adams. There's no bus service then. I think that's a little strange. I was curious to see how late the Route 1 actually ran since it was not picking up at 9 30 at night. And I checked Metro's website for the bus schedule. Apparently the Route 1, the last run that it makes to Mount Adams is at 7.30 and it's back in the garage at 8 o'clock. The buses that I usually take run until 12.30 in the morning or maybe a little bit later. So it's very peculiar to me that there was no bus service at 9.30 at night. I can understand why this is because places along the route like the Museum Center, the Art Museum, the Taft Museum, City Hall, all of those places are going to be winding down around 5, 6 o'clock at night. However, the stuff in Mount Adams is still going on and I'm curious as to not only the folks that go there for entertainment purposes but also the residents if the bus service was longer and perhaps more convenient if they would take the bus more. Um, for me, it's definitely something that would change the amount of times I would visit Mount Adams. I rarely visit Mount Adams. I do not go there because the parking is a pain. It's difficult to navigate and I'm always confused by the street layout. Now when I have the bus to go up there, it makes it very convenient because it stops along the major sites that a person would typically want to see in Mount Adams. However, it's not very convenient that the bus stops running at 7.30 at night. So it's something I would definitely use more and would love to visit that neighborhood more if the bus went there at reasonable hours. Leaving Playhouse in the Park, I had to walk downhill about three quarters of a mile from Mount Adams to Walnut Hills to catch the next available bus, uh, which was the Route 11. Now I'm in pretty average shape, so the walk down the hill was not strenuous at all but I could definitely see this being a challenge to somebody who's older 
or somebody who has limited mobility. It was definitely a dark walk down from Mount Adams to the bus stop. And if this is the only bus to catch at that hour, the, the 11 or the 4 at the bottom of uh, Gilbert and Eden Park, then I would like to see that lit up a little bit better. Um, granted, I was the only one walking to the bus stop tonight, so there may not be that much ridership <laughs> at that time, which would explain why the bus isn't running. It's almost like a catch-22. Are people not using the bus because the bus is not running a convenient schedule? Or are people not riding the bus period and therefore the bus is not running past the times when most of the attractions close? So it's hard to say. I would definitely love to see the one run later in the evening, uh, at least until the play is let out. When the bus only runs until 7.30, it's not really serving people at Playhouse in the Park. It can get you there, but it's not going to be able to take you back. And anyone who knows theater knows there's nothing going on in theater during the day. The only time that it's active is in those evening hours. Route 11 was about 20 minutes late from its scheduled arrival time to pick me up. So I was actually at the bus stop for about 40 minutes waiting on it after the play. When I look up a bus route on my phone, if I want to see when the next bus is coming, Google Maps has real-time information of the bus schedule. And if the bus is running late, like if it has to detour or maybe there's a traffic jam, uh, the Google Maps will update with that same bus and how, uh, how much longer it will be delayed from its original time. So the Route 11 tonight, it actually had two time changes of when it was arriving. The first was supposed to be a couple minutes before the top of the hour, uh, then again at about 10 past the hour, and it actually didn't end up coming. I was not on the bus until 17 after the hour. Normally this wouldn't be too huge of a complaint, except for I was the only one at the bus stop, there was no foot traffic around, cars are speeding through the intersection, and it's dark and it's not very well lit at all. So I definitely didn't feel as safe as when I normally ride the bus. Being a young lady, I did feel like this was not the ideal route to be waiting for a bus stop at night if you're by yourself. Uh, perhaps if I was with a group of friends, I definitely would feel more comfortable, but it's not a route that I would be willing to try again after dark. And that's unfortunate because I would love to take the bus to Playhouse in the park all the time. Once I was on the 11, it did not take very long to get back to downtown at all. It was probably less than 10 minutes, I would say. The things to do to improve this stop, currently the benches that are there are about a foot away from the curb. They're very close to the curb. And it does look like one of the benches has had an incident because it is not aligned with the other bench at the stop and it's got a busted up back. So on the bus adventure scale, I would give this a 3 out of 5 because it's super easy to get there, not so much for coming back. I would not recommend this for inexperienced bus riders, even though the one makes it super simple to get to all the area's attractions. Finding your way back is going to take a little bit of experience and knowledge of the route. I really, really, really wanted to tell you guys about this super fantastic journey to Playhouse in the Park and how simple it was to get there to and from the play. I wanted to be honest about my experience, even though it's not 100% positive, because there may be somebody watching who is new to public transportation, and I don't want them to take this route and get stuck if they don't have a plan. And maybe, just maybe, someone at Metro is watching this and can implement extending that bus service in Mount Adams just a little bit longer. So those are my two cents. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the section below, and I will do my best to answer them. And until next time, thanks for writing Metro.